Cambridge FCE. Reading. 100 difficult sentences. Sentence 99. Writing a new book about a place is a rewarding job, but one that's becoming a rarity. Publishers are more concerned with keeping existing books up to date than bringing out new ones in an already crowded market. This is understandable, since every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published. It may have been researched a year before being printed and it could have sat on the bookshop shelf for a year or two, so its information might be three years old by the time the reader uses it in practice. Key words Rewarding R-E-W-A-R-D-I-N-G Adjective Making you feel happy and satisfied because you feel you are doing something useful or important, even if you do not earn much money. Teaching can be a very rewarding career. Rarity R-A-R-I-T-Y Noun Something that is valuable or interesting because it is rare. Some of these plants are national rarities. Publisher P-U-B-L-I-S-H-E-R Noun A person or company whose business is to arrange the writing, production, and sale of books, newspapers, etc. The agreement assigns copyright to the publisher. Concerned. C-O-N-C-E-R-N-E-D. Adjective. Believing that something is important. Many politicians are more concerned with power and control than with the good of the people. Sentence elements. That's becoming a rarity is the attributive clause. Since every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published, is the adverbial clause of reason. By the time the reader uses it in practice, is the adverbial clause of time. Comprehension Question and answer What does one refer to? One refers to a job. What is the focus of writing a new book about a place is a rewarding job, but one that's becoming a rarity? Its focus is that writing a new book about a place is becoming a rarity. What are publishers paying much attention to? Publishers are paying much attention to updating existing guidebooks. What does an already crowded market imply about guidebooks? An already crowded market implies that guidebooks floods the book market. What does this refer to? This refers to the fact that publishers are more concerned with keeping existing books up to date than bringing out new ones in an already crowded market. Why are publishers more concerned with updating existing guidebooks?
it is because every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published. Why may a guidebook be out of date? It is because a guidebook may have been researched a year before being printed and it could have sat on the bookshop shelf for a year or two. Read this sentence three times after me please. Writing a new book about a place is a rewarding job, but one that's becoming a rarity. Publishers are more concerned with keeping existing books up to date than bringing out new ones in an already crowded market. This is understandable, since every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published. It may have been researched a year before being printed and it could have sat on the bookshop shelf for a year or two, so its information might be three years old by the time the reader uses it in practice. Writing a new book about a place is a rewarding job, but one that's becoming a rarity. Publishers are more concerned with keeping existing books up to date than bringing out new ones in an already crowded market. This is understandable, since every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published. It may have been researched a year before being printed and it could have sat on the bookshop shelf for a year or two so its information might be three years old by the time the reader uses it in practice. Writing a new book about a place is a rewarding job, but one that's becoming a rarity. Publishers are more concerned with keeping existing books up to date than bringing out new ones in an already crowded market. This is understandable, since every guidebook is actually out of date as soon as it is published. It may have been researched a year before being printed and it could have sat on the bookshop shelf for a year or two, so its information might be three years old by the time the reader uses it in practice. Sentence 100. If the internet via a mobile phone can deliver information just as well as printed paper but much faster, at almost no cost, is there a future for the printed guidebook? Other books you read at home, but a travel guide's main purpose is for urgent reference when you're desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat. Using a modern cell phone, any traveller can now enjoy a paperless holiday. Want to know the opening times of the museum? Look them up online. Need some information on the ancient building you're standing in? Download it. Key words. Urgent. U-R-G-E-N-T. Adjective. Very important and needing to be dealt with immediately. The report called for urgent action to reduce lead in petrol. Reference. R-E-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E -E. Noun. The act of looking at something for information. The book will become a standard work of reference. Desperate. D E S P E R A T E. Adjective. 
needing or wanting something very much. He was desperate to get a job. Accommodation A C C O M M O D A T I O N Noun A place for someone to stay, live, or work. The price for the holiday includes flights and accommodation. Sentence elements If the internet via a mobile phone can deliver information just as well as printed paper but much faster, at almost no cost, is the adverbial clause of condition. When you're desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat is the adverbial clause of time. Comprehension Question and answer. What is the main purpose of a travel guide? The main purpose of a travel guide is for urgent reference when you are desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat. Why does the narrator mention want to know the opening times of the museum and need some information on the ancient building you're standing in? The narrator mentions these in order to show the examples of the idea that using a modern cell phone, any traveler can now enjoy a paperless holiday. What is the narrator's possible answer to the question whether or not there is a future for the printed guidebook? The narrator's possible answer to this question is negative. Read this sentence three times after me please. If the internet via a mobile phone can deliver information just as well as printed paper but much faster, at almost no cost, is there a future for the printed guidebook? Other books you read at home, but a travel guide's main purpose is for urgent reference when you're desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat. Using a modern cell phone, any traveler can now enjoy a paperless holiday. Want to know the opening times of the museum? Look them up online. Need some information on the ancient building you're standing in? Download it. If the internet via a mobile phone can deliver information just as well as printed paper but much faster, at almost no cost, is there a future for the printed guidebook? Other books you read at home, but a travel guide's main purpose is for urgent reference when you're desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat. Using a modern cell phone, any traveler can now enjoy a paperless holiday. Want to know the opening times of the museum? Look them up online. Need some information on the ancient building you're standing in? Download it. If the internet via a mobile phone can deliver information just as well as printed paper but much faster, at almost no cost, is there a future for the printed guidebook? Other books you read at home, but a travel guide's main purpose is for urgent reference when you're desperate to find accommodation or somewhere to eat. Using a modern cell phone, any traveler can now enjoy a paperless holiday. Want to know the opening times of the museum? Look them up online. Need some information on the ancient building you're standing in? Download it.